What would you say would be, uh, like, I, it can't be reflected in statistics, because every Brit I talk with, they go, yeah, listen, I mean, Trump, he says some stuff, and I wish he stopped tweeting, but we wish we had someone like him here. We're really not that anti-Trump. It's not reflected in statistics, though, because people often, when polled, say, no, 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 I'm not on board with President Donald Trump. Would you say it's a plurality of people in the UK? Would you say it's 50-50? Oh, look, you know, for many, many times over the last 30 months or so, um, I've wondered whether I was the only President Trump supporter in the entire United Kingdom. Right. Because, because even the Conservative Party, the so-called Conservative Party in Britain, uh, you know, never have a nice word to say about him. But what I've noticed, what I've noticed over the course of the last few months, and particularly with Trump's overseas trips and overseas speeches, you know, take Davos just a few weeks ago, right. is I think, I think what people are saying is, look, for the British... They find Trump a bit brash. They find him a bit kind of loud, a bit out there, a bit, if I dare say it, New York. You yes, know, that's, yes. I mean, you know, that's who he is. Yeah. Um, and it, it's a kind of a style of politics that we're not really used to. But what I'm now getting from people in the UK is they're beginning to say, do you know what? We're beginning to understand it. We're right. beginning to get it. Here we've got a president who is pro-business. Here we've got a president who is deregulating. Here we've got a president who's put through some massive tax cuts. And here we've got a president that spreads optimism.